Hello guys, this is Herman from Visaya. Today, we take special precautions because we're going to make things explode. So I'm taking extra precautions since this is a really dangerous material. Milk powder. Well, to explain how I was able to make milk powder explode, I need to explain the components of an explosion. An explosion is described by a triangle. You need fuel, in this case milk powder, you need an ignition source, and the most important thing, you need oxygen. Hashtag milk car. That is why when I try to ignite milk powder on top of a table, I'm not able to do it, since the ratio between oxygen and fuel is not ideal. Now imagine you go to a milk powder production plant and you need to measure the level on a storage silos. In this case, the level measurement should comply with an European directive known as ATEX. In the case of milk and other dust storage facilities, instruments should be intrinsically safe, or XII. This means that the instrument will not become an ignition source or will not heat up to a temperature that could ignite the surrounding explosive atmosphere. Of course, milk powder is not the most explosive substance in process automation. If we move to the chemical and petrochemical industries, we have dust, fumes and liquids that could ignite if the proper instrumentation is not used. Fuels are also categorized, depending if they are found as a gas or as a dust, on their explosive characteristics and on the temperature of ignition. Additionally, ATEX describes the zones in which explosive atmospheres are present and the probability of this happening. In the oil and gas and chemical industries, explosion-proof devices, or XD devices, are used. These devices, like this transmitter here, are able to contain the explosion inside this volume. In this case, for example, this transmitter has a thicker glass that will not allow the explosion gases to reach the surrounding atmosphere. When you're selecting an instrument, make sure it complies with the zone of installation. Ask your vendor for support in case the marking is not clear. And before you install your instrument, verify that the label corresponds to the required protection. In the meantime, I thank you for watching this video. Keep safe. Until next time.